Well, it's that time of the month again for our Founders Log for February 2022 this time. Do you want to know yes. what we've got up to? Retrospective, of course, I look in the calendar going, it's March, James. But of course, it we're is. retrospectively we're all... talking about <laughs> last month. Well, I'm not normally in these, so it's, it's a rarity for me. You've gone very blue as well now. Your your camera must be overcast outside. Yeah, it's literally the sun's just gone behind a cloud. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically, uh, we had two uh, two new clients come in on February. Yeah. So one was a security cons consultation company that, that looks after security for businesses and buildings. Yeah. Um, we started chatting to them in January, but they didn't actually become a client until February. Yeah, that's right. Um, they had been using Google Workspace prior, but they essentially had a vanilla Google Workspace set up in that they deployed it themselves, but they had quite a few settings uh, missing from um, Google Workspace, which we've helped them deploy uh, yeah. to the level that I've, I've, I've introduced a new class of levels that we do. It's called, uh, we've got them up to, for their security, we've got them up to pain in the ass level. And that's pain in the ass for an attacker. So if someone tries to attack them now, they'll give up and they'll move on to an easier target. I see. All right, you're calling that's it the, pitter, pitter level. All right. Yeah, that's that's that new level there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they they we've, we've been able to show them the, the some better stuff, how to organise their data, because um, we always find that new businesses that come on board, their data is a bit of a mess, yeah. and they have yeah. no yeah. naming or file structure, and we're able to guide on that. Yeah. And that's the same with the second business that we've onboarded as well, who've gone live at the start of this month. Yeah. They've moved from three six five to Google Workspace. Mm. Um, you did you did the migration and the 365 i think was a bit of a, a troublesome it wasn't an, an easy migration in that they had one of those versions of 365 where you don't have all the admin rights that you need that didn't go daddy which i which i have to say is a reasonably decent um, implementation of 365 from a third party i can't have a knock at go daddy they're a decent setup for an online provider I had to use a backup service to do it you can't do a direct migration because like you say for the reasons you can't get the permissions it's called defederation and that already probably says to you you don't want to get involved with something that's called defederation do you i used a backup tool which backed it up and then i was able to take those files and import them so it's a slightly different approach but we have ways and means of doing this stuff and their data is now in uh, google workspace again i think they'll openly admit their data was really really uh messy well they've actually and... said uh, they've actually said you know what we're not going to move it don't move it because there was so much of it there was loads, okay. or there's like uh, 600 gigabytes or something. They've actually said, no, you know what? We'll just move the bits we want. I think they're almost kind of starting from scratch and it's going to keep what they had before in a Dropbox and maybe just get rid of it eventually. I don't know, but they'll, yeah, it's too much, too much of a mess and too much to move. So yeah, hopefully they'll delete that stuff. Too many businesses hold on to things that are irrelevant now, files that they just don't need. And it just takes You know what, I, don't, I do wonder whether anybody ever deletes anything because it's so kind of so easy not to. Although that is becoming more challenging in the modern world of videos now because the size of and the amount of data people have got is causing that to be a bit trickier. But I've never known businesses de delete data. They just won't do it. They just won't do it. Well, at least now they've got a, uh, a file structure and a naming system that we've introduced them to that we, we introduce all clients to that they can start yeah. using. Yep, it's working nice. In fact, I just helped them, just helped demonstrate how to move some large files using the upload through Google Drive for desktop rather than putting it through the browser and the file structure is nicely in place. Well, podcast-wise, we did three episodes last month. Uh, the first one was our Sheets versus Excel. Well, it wasn't really Sheets versus Excel. It was Sheets compared to Excel. Yes. And why we recommend Google Sheets over Excel for the collaboration tools. Yeah. The next podcast was, um, was about uh, don't cheap out on your broadband. And mm. that's essentially because a lot of businesses just go with business broadband, which is essentially home broadband, just renamed as business broadband, and it's stop shared out with lots of businesses around the place. Yeah, and the thing that most people don't realize is that a lot of IT problems fall back to having bad broadband because you've got to remember your computer and services are connected all the time to the internet. And if your internet's not stable and the, and the speeds are changing and fluctuating, that's going to affect your experience on the software you're using to the point that you, it feels like it's faulty. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. And then the final one was just uh, about moving technology in a, in a business environment, moving from one technology system to another one. Again, we base it around Google Workspace because that's what we specialize in. Uh, moving 365 to things and the considerations you need to factor in before, during and after the move. Um, new videos on our YouTube channel, which we are pushing hard. We had quite a, a few new subscribers uh, join in and um, uh, subscribe to the channel. Your TikTok videos, we've converted them into YouTube Shorts, and they also appear okay, on the YouTube yeah, Shorts yeah. now. 
Yeah. So you do need to subscribe to the channel to see the shorts in your feed. So if you want to see Carl's oh, YouTube okay. shorts, subscribe yeah. to the channel. And then four new videos we brought out. So I did one on getting the daily agenda in Google Calendar because a lot of people don't know about that feature because it's kind of hidden in the settings where you can set it so that it sends a daily agenda out at 5 a.m. each day showing you what you've got scheduled for the day. It's a good feature, that. The next two videos are based around a blog post that I'm going to be working on because at the moment, we what, what's going up in price all the time? Energy, energy costs, especially now with what's going on with uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. So we did. I did a video on Windows on how to turn on the power saving modes and make your computer a bit more eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. And you did the same on Mac. And I'm going to be building a blog as well around that that's going to have the five five points five ways to save energy using computer sort of thing and then the uh, final document was, the final video was about a google google extension for chrome that not a lot of people know about it but this extension allows you to set an excel file or even a word file on your computer to automatically open directly inside docs or sheets just by double so you could have the excel document on your computer somewhere card you double click on that icon and it will open inside Google Sheets, inside Google Chrome. And this is what that extension allows you to do. It allows you to associate an Excel document with, uh, with a Google Sheet um, file opening system. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got our assistance and support statistics. So we had 77 uh, subscribers get in contact mm -hmm. uh, last month. Um, 60 of those are requesting for assistance. That's why they want to know how to do something better or they want some mm -hmm. guidance on how to do something. Uh, while the remaining 17 were asking for support and that's where so it's not working properly yeah i bet you it was a scanner and a printer for most of those guys oh it will have been which bloody is always is always is uh and then um out of those people who got in contact 50 of them sent a message through uh said uh, once they sent their message through to us they were back to work within five minutes yeah so quickly we were able to help them out 24 took between five and 30 minutes yeah. two took over 30 minutes and one took over an hour but those stats are incredible. I was thinking about it because if you think of like an old world IT company where you have to email in a support ticket and then maybe it's like guaranteed you'll get a reply within four hours or something like that, that's just terrible. And our st statistics just actually wipe the floor on, on those. They do, yeah. And I've still noticed that not a single IT support company, even though I keep asking them to do it, publish their support, st support statistics like we do. Can't compete, that's why. I would think not, no. Some, maybe some of them can't even actually get the data together, but there you go. Here's a cool one as well. So 97.4% of the people who got in contact um, contacted us through our unique instant messaging support system. Um, only two people emailed and no one telephoned at all, which is fantastic because telephoning is the slowest way because it's not scalable. And so we can't, we can't uh, respond as quickly on a telephone. No. No, 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 no. You're absolutely right there. I can imagine. I can only imagine people going mental in a small company. The phone's ringing. We're all three of us on the phone. The phone. And they just go mental like that. It's just having a heart attack. There's also no. There's also no emoji or gifts to telephone calls. So where's the fun in that? No, right. But have some gifts. And then finally, um, out of the people who get in contact, we believe that 11 people would not need to get in contact if their company had uh, regular training. Okay, our learning yeah. sessions yeah our learning sessions which start at 210 pounds and go up to 500 pounds and that for 10 people could be in that session uh but yeah so those 11 people wasted time while they sent a message to us sitting around and when we responded to them they could have got back a lot quicker if they had training because they wouldn't have had to contact us in the first place possibly so yes yeah are you listening to 90s hip hop, hip, hip -hop at the moment with your 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 jacket your shell suit jacket because i might let you go back to that they look like a shell suit jacket. It's it's a hoodie that was it's um it's just it's it's a lively colour, but it's nice and warm. I've um I'm doing I turn my heating down by one degree as was you know as we, as you're supposed to do at the moment, and I'm cold to be frank. All you need is a metal a metal medallion now, and uh, your 80s hip hop there. <laughs> 80s, well, not, 80s, 80s and 80s, early 80s, 90s. 80s hip -hop aesthetic pop. is all the rage, James. So there you go. Well, there you go. Super. Well, thanks for joining on this one, and uh, all right, we'll do it again next month. 